everyone happy Monday morning to everyone I hope you're well um, it may be you like me and the children have gone back after the Easter holidays I know some schools have gone back a while before but if that's the case you're back to work back to routine oh I hope you're okay you're energized and feeling up for it and now we have got this lovely Johanna Page to do today. I can't remember whether this is from Secret Garden or Enchanted Forest. It doesn't really matter. And I've decided to have a bit of fun with this page. Um, I've coloured it a lot of times in a lot of different ways. So I'm going to have a go with my Castle Arts Soft Touch Metallic Pencils and my Castle Arts Glitter Pens. So I labelled them so I know what they are. I rearranged them because they're in a funny order. And these are... This is all glittery, glittery ones. So my idea is to do a metallic flower and edge it in glitter. Why not? Let's have some fun. So let's open the um, oh, open the tin. My um, cables are all getting in the way. Okay, I've got my swatch part for my metallic pencils. Now I don't normally swatch, but the metallics don't look like the dipped ends very much i'm just going to pause i'm going to sneeze oh sorry <laughs> that's better so the i find the metallic pencils don't look very much like the dipped ends like the, these bits so i swatch them to make it a little bit easier for me when i'm making videos and things so i can see what's going on so i shall keep that at hand here and this is a sort of symmetrical design i thought we would sort of do it in pairs and um, just have some fun really so they're quite intricate designs but we're going to um, ignore that slightly and you'll see what I mean Ooh, I need to move across a little bit let's just move everything across sorry right there we go so we're going to start with our flower at the top and I'm going to mix the colours around a little bit we're going to have green leaves I'm a traditional colourist, green leaves, but we're going to do the flowers different colours, so I thought that would be fun. So let's start with, um, we have got, um, let's start with a sort of purple, let's start with the amethyst, it's a sort of go-to purple. So here is the amethyst purple, and what I'm going to do with this is colour the whole thing in a flat colour of purple. But I want it to be quite thick. Okay, and um, we're going to just go for it with the purple, and then um, on with the details, we're going to do those with the glitter pen. So it's going to be a a sort of base, very basic colouring, and but hopefully it will look quite shiny and sparkly by the time we finished. Now you don't have to do hard colouring with the metallics. You can do some parts darker and some parts lighter with the one um, pencil. They do blend as well, so you can blend different colours. But I just decided that I wanted to do it this way for this particular page. Now I really like these metallic pencils, I have to say. I know some people have different brands. I think Derwent does some. Although I thought they were watercolour, but I've been told they do some that aren't, I think. So that's um, rather cool. And there are other other brands as well. It doesn't really matter what brand you use. If you've got some, have a go. But you could do this with plain pencils too. Or metallic um, gel pens is another way to do it. I had thought about maybe doing that, but in the end I decided to do pencils. But um, you could just fill it with a metallic. The problem with the gel pen is that it covers the black print more I mean that's covered up quite a lot anyway um, <clears throat> excuse me so it means that it might make it a little bit tricky to uh, quite see what's going on now we've got quite a few different leaf types in this picture these sort of empty leaves I'm going to do all in one color so I'm just having a look to see what color I might pick um, this um, I think I'm going to use the ocean grey. I know it's called grey, but it is a green ocean grey, and I'll show you. 
Now I'm going to do it symmetrically, so all the uh, leaves opposite each other are the same, but all the um, all the leaves with a blank centre will be in this particular colour. Could do a sharpening this a little bit. I don't think this one has been sharpened yet. Quite a few of them haven't. I haven't used these loads yet. I've had the set for a little while, but I've had. Um, I've been sort of making lots of videos, so I've been using various different sets, and I can't wait to use them a bit more. And I will be um, with the because um, I'm making this video two weeks in advance. I'm about to have two weeks off, so uh, I'll be testing out, playing with all my new toys. So that's that side, and it will be the same on this side. What I'm not going to do is to repeat to do all of it. So these and all the other blank ones will be in this um, ocean grey, okay? So I'm going to note that down for myself so that I remember. And um, But what I would advise you do is if you're colouring along, pause your video and do them all now if you want to. Or, you know, or note it down yourself. There's that one. Now, our next little floral is here. And um, I am going to do... I'd like that one to be in a pinky colour. Um, I'm just having a look at my chart to see if that particular colour I want is going to work. And I think it is. So I'm going to use the Jasper Purple. Okay. See, the difficulty with me using this new set that I don't know that well is that if I only do this right hand side and don't do the left I'm not going to remember which colours I used for which I'm not going to be able to recognise them easily you know even from my swatching oh I can hear bins blowing around again I just put oh no that's something else that's good I put them all away and was hoping that they would be neat so that's the pinky colour so um that's the Jasper Purple. Next, we are going to go central here and we're going to do the orange. There's one orange colour only and it is the Dragon Orange. It's a very bright orange, but you'll see. Now normally when I do this page, I keep it very um, simple palette wise, so I usually do all the flowers in one colour and all the leaves in another. But I've done this page a lot of times and I just felt that I wanted to do it a little bit differently, which is why I've gone for doing it this way. Now I'm not going to do a background. So I don't need to think about that. At this stage of a picture, normally I would start to think about the background and how it's going to impact my colour choices in that I wouldn't. I want to still make sure everything stood out from the background. But I'm not going to do one, so it doesn't matter. So there's our orange colour. Okay, now we'll do... Now I'm thinking leaves i don't know if i want a million different color leaves so i'm wondering whether just to make all the other leaves in one green and then just leave it at that with just the two greens i think that might work better might be easier for me as well which um, is always nice so i'm going to use the envy which i think is a fabulous name for a green and uh and do um these leaves all the rest of the leaves are going to be this color i think it would just make it all easier these are quite small. I'm going to have to sharpen in a bit. But I'll just do a few to show you. I'm not going to colour the whole page right now. I'm doing quite a lot of castle art pictures at the minute. I'm mainly a fan of theirs. There's a few things that annoy me, like the... Um, if I put something in my shopping basket on their website and then I don't buy it, which I do a lot, I usually do it to see what voucher codes work and things like that. 
um, they'll send me emails saying, you, did you forget to buy it? It's still in your basket. And that annoys me. And I know it's a it's an automated email system that you can pay for, which they obviously do. I'm going to use this, as I say, on every other leaf apart from the plain ones. You don't have to do it like that. You can vary your greens more. I don't think it's going to matter. I'm just doing it because if I do too many different greens, I'm never going to remember when I try and do the symmetry, for me, it's not going to work. So for you, it may just work really well. Right, let's go for blue. My favourite blue, should we use my favourite blue? Is the sapphire. It's a really pretty shade. And we'll do it for this flower here. You can see whether you like the blue yourself or not. And I'm trying to put down a fairly thick layer because with these metallic pencils I find a thicker layer seems to give more of a sheen. Now I wouldn't say metallic really. They don't shine like metal, like um, you know a metallic gel pen or anything. Um, I would say they're more slightly pearlescent. I still really like it and I love the sort of vintagey colours that they all are and things like that but look if I hold it up to the light and make it shine it's not really I wouldn't say that was metal but I still like it I'm just you know that's fine right let's move on to the center here now shall we do these little ones the same as this one mm. I'm not sure or shall we go Mm, let's go gold. Let's go a sort of goldy colour. Um, this one is the one I like. This is the Vegas yellow. It's not really gold, it's yellow. Look at that. Nice. I really like it. And oh, I've got to plan carefully around my gel pens as well because I'm going to go over all these details with gel pen. I need to make sure I've got enough of the right colour. So I've got two oranges, so that's okay. I've got one dark purple, I've got three blues. I want to do you know the right colour pen on the right colour item, so I need to make sure that I'm sort of working it out as I go. I'm going pink with this one again. Um, we choose a very different one to what we used before we used the jasper purple before i'm sorry i'm looking at my little um notes let's go for the where was that the jasper peach where's that yeah we'll go for the jasper peach this is a slightly different shade of pink i think what did we use? We used the Jasper Purple. Yeah, no, it's a bit similar, isn't it? No, we used the Imperial Topaz. That's what I was trying to find. There it is. Imperial Topaz. It sounds very smart, doesn't it? Imperial Topaz. We'll go in here. This one. This one's catching the light more from the angle I'm colouring. I can see little sparkles. I wonder how they make metallic pencils. I've even heard someone say they had glitter pencils. I'm intrigued. Do they really exist? I used to, my children used to have some pencils that their grandparents gave them, which had a glittery um, um, barrel, but they, it was just a normal grey graphite pencil. But, uh, they weren't really see it's quite different to that one which was the idea now we've got these I'm never sure whether these are leaves or flowers I'm gonna do them in a light purple maybe we've got light purple we've got a viola or a blue mist I think I'll do the blue mist I've got to try and find it though I'm not very familiar with my um, pencils at the minute here we go. Here's the blue mist. As I say, I haven't used them that much. So, uh, just getting used to where they are and what they all look like. It 
takes a little bit of time. That's okay. It's all fun. And as I say, I'm going to um, be using them more, I'm sure. So they are lovely. Really lucky I've been gifted quite a few things lately. So these and the gold, Castle Arts Gold as well, which are lovely. I've been doing a big floral page to just test out all the colours, which has been great fun. And um, also some poly colour. Um, it's just a 12 pack. They're a bit, um, a bit harder but uh, I found them really nice and blendy. Blendy being a very official word. <laughs> now that one, do we do that the same colour as that? Hmm, probably not. We have a snail here as well, you can't see that yet. I think we won't do any of them the same because I think it will just add confusion. Um, now this one, what does this one sort of need? Let's have a look at the colours we've got on our chart. We could do it a sort of bronzy colour. A very, I think I'm going to go for a really dark blue. I think that's the dark blue. Yeah, the peacock topaz. Oh, it's a bit blurred, sorry. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. You'll see it's uh, quite dark. Someone did say that they felt this was lacking in reds. We do have um, burgundies, but we don't have like a really vibrant just red. And I just wonder whether it makes it, whether it's difficult to do a metallic pencil red. Because obviously we use a lot of reds when it's Christmas and having metallic reds be a lot of fun in Christmas books, Christmas pictures. But uh, we don't have one, which is interesting. But uh, as I say, maybe it's difficult to make them. I'm not massively familiar with metallic sets. I've only got this one and another very small cheapy set. And um, I don't think um, neither of those have a sort of really bright red in. So I'm just wondering whether you just can't do it. There we go. So there's a very distinctive blue. I think we definitely need some pink now. So where should we go now? We could go here for the Jasper Peach. We were going to pick that earlier and we didn't, so we'll pick it now. Um, we'll do this little flower here in the Jasper Peach. I find some of the colours are a little bit similar to each other as well. There's only one sort of orange. Might have been nice to have a few more shades, but you know, it is what it is. It's a lovely set. Now, down here I'm thinking back to purple. We've got this purple up here. So, what should we go here? The, hmm, I'm thinking violet sapphire might be nice. Let's make sure you can see. I think what I'm going to do is when I finish doing or choosing all my colours and doing all the little bits and bobs, I shall go away and finish colouring this page because it won't take that long because it's just hard colouring really, isn't it? And then I'll come back and do the gel pens with you and show you what I've chosen and how I'm going to do it. I think that might be fun. This is actually exactly the same plant as the purple one that we did at the top. Right, what do we have left now? We've basically got one, two, three. I think in the centre here we could probably do with another brownie, goldy colour. Um, a yellowy gold, maybe. Yeah, maybe this one will be good. The melange. How would you say that? Melange? It's very sounds very English. Melange sounds very French. Melange? I really have no idea. I've never heard the word before. This is definitely a gold shade, like an antique gold, I would say. 
Oh, well, I don't know why it's not just called gold, to be honest. Maybe they wanted something a bit more exciting. And then we have this pair here. Um, we could really do with another orange. We don't have an orange. We do have a honey bronze. Maybe that will work. Is that it? No. Oops. Is that it? Yeah. Here is our honey wands. Whoops. And um, stick to these. And then we've got one last one. Not sure where to go with that one. I'm wondering about blue. Um, um, we've got two blues, now we've got two oranges, three pinks, two purples, two. Mm. Mm, let's have a quick look, mm, we could go for a bluey green, couldn't we, maybe not, we could do, no I'm not going to do that, um, 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 I'm not being very exciting, am I? Let's just grab, let's just grab one. Here we go. As your blue. Oh, we do have these little, um, sort of seedy bits here. Could have decided on those as well. And we've got a snail. I've decided on what to do with the snail already. So here's our snail. I'm going to do him in sort of blacks and silvers, I think, or dark greys. This is the Typhoon Grey. And I'm going to do his body. It's really small. I might do the whole of him in this colour because he's so small. There we go. Now we have the, as I say, we have these little seedy bits and they go, there's a few other as of these as well in different places around the board. So I think around the, the mandala, I guess it is. So I thought I would do it in um, a silvery colour, um, platinum, and then it would sort of match and I'll do them all the same. I know I haven't done any of the flowers the same or leaves, this, well some of the leaves are the same, so... It, hopefully it will sort of work so there's that one and there's one up here can you see it yes here and one up here you can see that I'm not trying to color each circle separately I'm sort of coloring it as a whole thing because it's hard to do okay so that's me having colored each flower I am going to go away and actually finish colouring the whole thing with the metallics and then and I'll probably do a bit of a better job it's quite hard for me to see um, from where I'm sitting so I'm going to finish all that and then I'm going to come back and choose some pens and I'm um, just show you how I'm going to do the pen work I think it'll be a fun um, part to show you so I will be back hi I am back having coloured in um, all of these um, details in quite heavy block <coughs> excuse me colouring what we're going to do now is to choose some um, gel pens to work with them now I want to try and match the gel pen to the colour that I've coloured as well as I can it's going to be a little tricky these are all glitter gel pens as you can see they're um, Castle Arts from their 100 set and uh, I'm going to um, actually in a little bit the light is shining off the um, glitter pen um, off the uh, metallic pencil which is not ideal but there we go so I'm going to take the darkest purple pen to start with which is this one now I don't think there are any identifiers on the pens I'm just having a little look no not that I can see so it's just a matter of guesswork dark purple pen and my plan is to go all the way around the edge of the flower. It's quite hard for me to see what I'm doing. It's uh, The light reflects off the pencil anyway. 
and um, when it's glitch when it's metallic it's even worse but anyway I do my best I think I'm gonna go around the edge of there the idea is to just try and show some of the pattern up with the glitter and if I turn it whoops I don't know if it's gonna show up very well I'm gonna actually turn the book a little bit I can't see this one particularly well because um, it's so such dark pen so I'm actually gonna leave it I just can't see it I'm sorry I can't get it into the camera shot and um, well enough to see so I'm gonna leave that one there but the aim is to make it similar to these so going around all the lines that are drawn on there by Johanna okay so I'm just gonna leave that one for now and move on to the orange one so I'm gonna use this bright orange glitter pen and show you on this one because I can see this one so around there and then around the main outside edge but I'm going to go around that line too so I will um, show you a few I don't think I'm going to be able to do them all because I can't see the darker ones so I'm going to have to uh, just leave it and uh, Oops, out of the lines again. I'm struggling to see. So around this one, like this. So virtually every line. I'm not going to do those little tiny lines that are there. Don't know if you can even see them. Now with the green, these leaves are quite blank, but I am just going to go around the edge of those. And with these around here, I'm not going to do those lines inside or else I might as well just fill the whole thing with glitter. But I am going to do the dots on here. Like that. So that's basically how I'm going to do each one. Shiny glitter. And you can probably see the coloured gel pen, but maybe not the glitter. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, there you can see the glitter. Okay. With the greens, I'm going to pick two different shades of green. I've only got two shades of green, so that's easy. Use the darkest one for this and just go around the outside edge. I'm not going to do the bit where it hits the plant, just that layer where it's drawn with an outside edge. And with these ones, I probably will go around the outside. I'll go down the middle and I might do some of the lines, but it will depend on how small the leaf is. Again, if it's too detailed, you might as well end up just going... Um, covering the whole thing with glitter so I'm going to work through um, I'm just looking at all my colours I will do some pinks um, some purples, blues and things like that I'm not going to show you all of it I think as I say I just can't see so it's not going to it's just going to look a mess so I'm going to do those and then I'm going to come back on video just to do a little um, demo like that so you can see the glitter I think that might be fun so bear with me and, uh, and I'll be back. Hi, I am quite pleased that I didn't um, stick around and do all the um, sparkly pen um, for you on camera because it actually took quite a while. It takes a bit of concentration to get all those um, little bits and bobs done, I guess. But uh, it was lots of fun and I found it pretty relaxing as well. So that was good. I did get distracted a few times, I have to say, too. So uh, there was that issue. But uh, I need to go now and tidy up my desk before um, I move on to my next task. It uh, looks a bit like you can see all the pencils here, the pens here. It's a bit of a mess. So I'm going to get off, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope the video is OK, too. And uh, happy colouring.